Why haven't you thought about Spain? Spain is an amazing country for you to try. Um, cheap tuition, no IELTS, you can move with your family. An affordable country. Please and please try Spain. Before we talk more about Spain, just want to tell you welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Info Hub. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much for the love. But if this is your first time coming across my YouTube channel, I still want to tell you thank you. I bring in information that can help you move abroad to study, work, and even settle. So if these are the kind of informations you like and you're looking for, then please and please do well to click the red subscribe button to join the growing family. I will be very happy if you also touch on the notification bell so when I release new videos like these, you may just be the first to be notified. Now, you may have been thinking of moving to a country in Europe, a country in the Schengen zone that allows you access 26 other countries without a visa. Spain is the one for you. Yes, you can move to Spain with very affordable tuition. Now, uh, in most of my videos, I've talked about the easiest way to move to any country is via the study route. Spain is in no exception. If you want to move to Spain, the easiest and best way is to move in as a student. And very, very fine, very, very true. Most of the schools in Spain are very affordable. They can go as low as 800 euros per year, not semester, per year. Schools like the University of Granada, University of Valencia, University of Santiago, they are very, very cheap. But you should be able to know that these cheap schools are highly competitive. So please and please fill in your application on time so you can stand a chance. But if you want to go for the schools that are not very highly competitive, you can go for business schools in Barcelona. But these schools are not as cheap as the public schools I just mentioned. So when you've been able to get these schools, you will need to fill in your application to the school. You fill in your application, maybe for example, you're applying for a master's program, you need to bring in your certificates, like your bachelor certificates, you need to bring in your transcripts, your SOP, your academic CV, you do not need IELTS. As long as you score very high in English, then it's okay. You're good to go. Your academic CV and all the rest. Now, when you've applied to this school and you've gotten your conditional offer, you will be, be um, tasked to pay your fees. It could include your application fee, if applicable, and also your tuition. After paying these fees, you will then receive your unconditional offer. This unconditional offer is what you would use to apply for your visa. Now let's talk about the visa process. The visa process is just like it's just the same with the rest of the world. You need this unconditional offer, you need your passport, you need your passport photograph, then um, you need your proof of funds, which is a bank statement showing that you can sustain yourself throughout your stay in Spain. You would also need your visa form, which you, you should fill honestly. Do not lie when filling this visa form. You need that. You need your travel insurance that should cover 30,000 euros. Now, you don't need to pay 30,000 euros, but this visa, this travel um, visa or this um, travel health insurance should cover at least 30,000 of your travel, of your health um, expenses all through your study there. Then you need your purpose of, of visit. Now for this purpose of, purpose of visit, you would need to show things like accommodation, your travel itinerary and all the rest. That's booking your return ticket. You do not need to pay for it, but you can also book your return tickets after your studies. You can do so even before your visa application. Doing this will help you boost your chances of you getting the visa so after this you need to book your appointment in the spanish embassy they will give you a date for you to come back to submit these documents after submitting documents you wait for a decision and then you can get your decision if it's positive it's, if it's approved then you can pack your bags and come to spain yes you can come to spain and start speaking spanish and all the rest so it's very fine it is amazing it's a fine prospect for you to tap into remember 
um, the, the, the tuitions are very affordable. And one thing that is very good about Spain is that you can be able to work 30 hours per week. 30 hours. It is higher than many countries, including the UK, the US, and all the rest. 30, 30 hours per week. It's very, very amazing. So when you come into the to, to Spain, you can be able to work on this and all the rest. If you have any question, please and please drop it down in the comment section and I'll be glad to look at it. It would also be beneficial if you smash the like, the like button to show your appreciation and also so YouTube can recommend this video to others. I'll be very, very happy if you click the red subscribe button to join the growing family and also turn the notification bell so when I release new videos, you may just be the first to be notified.